folks welcome to tech world vlogs and tesla if you're new to this channel i do a lot of tesla accessory review as well software updates travel vlogs and all the latest tech gadgets on the market we do a really in-depth review on this channel and we also make recommendations on some of those products so on today's video i'm actually going to review tesla software update i've got some comments about the software update for 2024 that i did not feature on my last video so i want to do a follow-up video on some of the updates that was included um this update does have some exciting new applications and product features that's added to it so i'm really excited to share this update um, so let's get right into the video. If you are new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Love to have you on this channel and check out my previous playlist on all the latest smart home products. I think you'll find something there that you'll like a lot. So let's jump right into some of the cool new um, changes with this new update. This is the UI interface for this update. I just punched in an address so you can see how the UI changes. One thing that's new on this screen is now we have the trip progress bar, which tells you your current time and how long it takes to get to that location, the battery that you'll have when you arrive and the distance from your current location to the end location. You can also add stops to this here as we had before. Wiper on, so you push this stock for the wiper. You have this feature, the scroll wheel that you can use to adjust the wiper speed so you, if you find a auto setting is not in line with what you need you can adjust it to different um, speed and that's right off the scroll wheel on my left all right jumping into more features about the screen um, one thing I do like now is you have customizable bars here before we had this here but now it's a lot more intuitive i feel it's spaced out correctly uh versus before and we have one two three four five six option and this is the um taskbar that brings up more option um that you can launch so let's jump into what's added to the vehicle so you always click on the car logo here here we have control which uh controls the basic functions of the car which is unlock mirrors child lock window lock wiper speed uh, mirror adjustment wheel adjustment sentry mode glove box access car wash mode uh, screen brightness all that stuff is still here autopilot had the biggest change because i'm on the full self-driving supervised um feature mode that is turned on um when you buy the vehicle and you don't have the full self drive it typically you're on the autopilot or auto steer beta um, and this just allows you to um, turn on autopilot on cruise control basically you don't have um, the feature where you can um, have the lane change and the summon and all that cool stuff so I do have that which is pretty exciting um, autopilot activation um, you can set this as single pole or double pole I have it set up as single pole to engage autopilot full full self-driving autopilot um, and then you can change the full self-driving supervised profile if you want more assertive decision chill or average um, this just means that how is the car is gonna make the decision to change the lane or to drive or to follow the vehicle um, assertive means it's more decisive um, and then average I always keep it an average uh, that's just the algorithm setting lane change notifications of when the car is changing lane in full self-driving what feedback do you want the car to provide you can select none chime or both um, I have it as vibrate uh, but you can go ahead and switch this to both just to get the haptic feedback as well as the audio feedback when it's driving um, lane change for current drive I'm gonna switch this to minimal so the car doesn't keep switching lane to overtake out a vehicle. Um, and then you have expanded full self-driving visualization. I have that turned on because you wanna see everything around you. More information is always better. 
Um, then we have automatic set speed offset. So this is basically mean you want your full self driving speed to be set at a specific um, speed limit that's currently on the road, or do you want to offset it by adding 10 or um, more speed to it? And I just have it as speed limit offset. Um, I did not put an offset, so I'm gonna offset this by like five percent. Um, so I'm still within the current speed limit, but uh, in most cases, uh, the cars are moving faster, so you wanna go with the flow of the traffic. Next up, we have summon, and this is in beta. Summon means uh, you calling the car when you're not around the car. It's a cool feature, not very practical in everyday use, but it's the ability to use the Tesla app on your phone and summon, as the word say, car towards you. It is actually uh, more of a gimmick feature, but nice to have. Um, I've tried it before. I'm gonna do a video on that soon. Um, and then it has standby mode or customized mode. And it tells you here, if you do customized mode, um, it tells you bumper clearance in front and bumper clearance at the back. Um, and then side clearance, what side clearance do you want to have? Require continuous press, yes. If you say no, the car will just automatically make those maneuver without you stopping it. And if you go into um, standby mode here, uh, enable standby mode, uh, someone will not park on standby when car is put into park. So if the car is in park, uh, you cannot engage someone. Uh, so I have that turned off. Cool. Um, jumping into it, this is all the different keys you can use to unlock and lock the car. So I have a fob iPhone 15 and I also have an iPhone 13. Um, and then I also have a different phone there that I, I should probably delete. This is the iPhone SE. I don't use this anymore, but I should probably delete it. To delete it, I have to use my key card. So we'll do that another time. Lights. These are all the different uh, headlights setting, fog light setting, uh, turn by turn um, setting, um, and then high beam, low beam, headlight after exit, all that feature, ambient light, all that stuff is here. Um, steering wheel lights is something I actually um, think is pretty cool. I haven't looked at it a lot, but this is just the lights on the steering wheel to indicate, um, give you some sort of uh, digital feedback. And here we have the appearance screen. You can adjust the brightness of this infotainment system or not. And if you're looking to clean your screen, you wanna make sure you select screen cleaning mode. That way you don't mess up the settings or engage something you shouldn't be engaging when while cleaning. There is a shortcut here to customize this scroll wheel on your right. I have it set for camera, but when you press down the scroll wheel towards um, the left, it pulls up the cameras around the vehicle and that happens even when driving and other stuff here like language and stuff we're not going to get into that um energy display in um distance or percentage kilometers fahrenheit um tire pressure all that um is you can customize the setting here trips is just how much energy you burn per trip so you can see here my last trip 10 miles it took me 57 minutes and my average energy was 285 uh, watts per hour per mile, um, which is pretty interesting. Uh, this was actually during rush hour in the morning, so that's why it took so long. But look at this difference here, uh, 44 kilometers, uh, 44 miles, 12 kilowatts, and that's how much energy I burn. Um, so yeah, just a good way to track your trip usage. Navigation got a new addition. Um, here you can use engage HOV lanes or not. This is just the high occupancy um, vehicle lanes. And then you have automatic navigation, which automatically pulls up your regular pattern. So when I get in a car, right now it knows on Saturday I go to Home Depot, so it's pulling up Home Depot. Uh, if you have stuff in your calendar, it will actually link to your calendar, which is cool. Uh, trip planner is there where you can add supercharger if necessary. This is the feature where you can add stops. Online route, find optimal route based on traffic. That is something that you can, um, while you're on a route, the car will still recharge. If there's construction, if there's delays, they'll 
pull up another route and provide you with another route to save you uh, time you can set this if you find another route that gives you a savings of 10 minutes and the car will automatically pull up a speed camera chime I'm gonna turn this on this is new and you see the little new logo there this tells you or give you a chime if there's a speed camera ahead that way you are um, aware uh, to manage your speed avoid tools is on and avoid ferries is on um, that's something that you want to make sure you check on a long um, trip and then next up we have safety safety is relatively the same um, you have camera based uh, detection which is awesome if you click on this bar here it tells you when the camera detection is enabled sentry mode will use vehicle external camera um, an additional sensor to detect security events parked this vehicle safe to clip the USB I still want to figure out if we're gonna get the feature where it sends the clip to your phone which is pretty cool hopefully that comes soon and then he has live camera um, feed from your mobile app that's something we already have on the Tesla app you can see the live camera of your vehicle when in park dash cam mode how can you how do you want a vehicle to store dash cam mode you can keep it on honk or on uh, like auto I'm gonna switch this back to auto and honk uh, which is both settings there for uh, dash cam features um, and then other stuff here automatic blind spot which is cool that's something that's new that was added last year uh, blind blind spot chime is turned on so if I'm changing lane I didn't realize there's a car my blind spot I could, um, the chime will alert me audibly um, allow mobile access on pin drive I turn it off glove by glove box pin um, then we have cabin overheat protection is on and then you can set what temperature you want to activate I'm gonna switch this to 95 um, automatic 911 emergency call if it detects a accident airbag if airbags deploy the car will automatically inform 911 uh, security cameras enable park assist chime gear chime Joe mode that stuff is relatively the same here is the display of the PSI for tires I'm not sure why it's always different I noticed that the front um, drive is always 40 and then this adjusts as you're driving but um, I always find this diagonal here to be the same and then this diagonal to be the same so maybe it's a setting in Tesla um, or the algorithm is saying that the driver side must match the diagonal passenger side on the back seat in terms of PSI but not really the export on that so if you know I uh, leave a comment below uh, here we have options here to calibrate your cameras driver seat steering and then some other how do you want notifications uh, these are all the notifications on the car so here I aborted parking and this car save all that notifications this question here this is the type of process I have I have the Intel Atom processor that, that's running the full self-driving feature here and uh, this vehicle has heat pump and all that stuff the battery here is low voltage battery type is lead acid and the modem is 4G um, so this is the features that I have that's also allowing allow me to use the full self-driving um, beta now the applications that's new so this is new that's here it's the navigation app um, and just basically takes you over to the navigation screen um, so not a lot that is different but that basically allows you if you're in a different screen and you click on the nav it takes you back to the uh, normal navigation screen how you can have Spotify playlist queue in your Spotify um, account on your Tesla you have Bluetooth and one thing I noticed it does have a time now that when you're in this dash cam if there's no activity it retracts but um, yeah you have tune in I use this a lot um, Apple music is there uh, Apple podcast is here which is fairly new and then we have audible that's added here you can listen to audio books right while uh, driving so if you have an interest in one of these books it links to your um, audible account and now you can play it and listen it while on your trip and I love how it breaks out to the different chapters which is pretty cool so you can skip ahead on this whatever chapter audible. you want 
um, that's pretty loud but there you go it's pretty cool actually and I think I'll find myself using this more than usual uh, those are free books you can get but you can pay for other books um, and then on your Spotify account um, in order to use this here you need to have premium Spotify so you have to have the paid version of Spotify um, and I don't use Spotify I instead use Apple music so probably not useful for me but for those folks there who love Spotify this will be the way to go um, me my personal preference is Apple music um, but that is it those are all the cool new features so we added audible um, and we uh, we upgraded the Spotify playlist love the upgrade I've bought this vehicle now I've owned it for uh, almost five years this in time of ownership this used to be two rows and it's amazing to see all the other stuff that's added on Tesla so really have to you know say as you own this vehicle this vehicle literally gets better with time uh, UI is awesome if I don't like this interface I could just slide this over and I get a wider interface here's my trip calendar um, so you have that a flexibility and adjustments that you can make absolutely love it here you have it a full in-depth review of tesla software update for 2024 hopefully you like this here make sure you subscribe uh leave a comment below let me know what you think about these updates but uh, i'm absolutely a fan and we'll see you on the next video